to others whatever you will do to others you will get back in the same coins in neither less nor more but it is going to come back to you when i have no clue about it how i have no clue but whatever you give that only you are going to receive give good you will receive good give bad you you may receive worse that time don't say pavam why did god do this god didn't do anything you have given it to the world you are going to get back same to the from the world this is an eternal law of nature nobody can change it okay so if you don't want bad for yourself don't speak bad about others be a person with your interpersonal skills to help others not to pull the leg of others because if you pull the leg of others one person you might pull there will be five person to pull your legs when and where i have no clue but it will be pulled take it in writing stamp paper i can give you vijay malya neera modi sahara big big examples are there nobody can be spared by the law of nature now let me come back to the point another problem which we face in grammar is this formula write down fast negative so called past participle a thumb rule is there that after didn't we always use one v so this is wrong it should be i didn't tell him he didn't went there he didn't went there went is wrong go there this is another common mistake when speaking as well as writing got it What is the difference? One is like he don't have the ability to do, couldn't. He is not able to do it, and uh, he didn't do it means deliberately from his own he didn't do it. The first one is right. <laughs> deliberately, I gave you some homework. Did you do the homework? No, ma'am, I didn't do. But if you say I couldn't do, that means you tried, but you were not successful. So when you are speaking, especially in the corporate world, it is better to use for senior. I couldn't. I couldn't means I tried. I didn't meaning is I didn't try also. Is it clear? And after both. Customer, is it clear? 
the difference between couldn't and didn't. Another Bangalore corporate mistake. I'm dealing only with Bangalore. Shall I read the word? There are 10 subjects. Please listen carefully. 10 subjects. I take, I call them five Pandavas this side, five Pandavas this side. Panch Panda, Panch Panda. I, you, we, they, plural. Fine. I, you, we, they, plural. Okay? Five I took. Another I take, another patch, he, she, it, name, singular. He, she, it, name, singular. I take them here. He, she, it, name, <coughs> singular meaning is ekvachan. <coughs> Purumai in Tamil. Panamai. Pauvachar. One second. <coughs> so, I, you, we, they, plural. And he, she, it means singular. I have divided them into two parts. With this, we use first word. This is for habitual action. Daily work. And with this I would use first word plus S or ES. <coughs> it, you will be a little confused. I know that. If I say I go to office. Alright? Bangalore mistake I am writing here. They goes to office. They think they is plural. Panamai. So, they have converted the singular verb into plural by adding es. It's wrong. They go to office. And here if I say, this is another mistake. People say, he go to office. This is wrong. Because, with first verb, I have to add either s or ES to convert into singular. I know you have not understood because I know that. Did you understand this? I, I can understand what you have not understood because this is not my way of teaching. <coughs> Did you understand? Uh, that I, Panch Panda, I, U, V, they plural, he, she, it name singular. Okay? Divide into two parts. With these word, uh, plu, uh, subjects, the verb in regular speaking will be only. With these words, uh, subjects, the verb will be add, ES or ES will be added in that. I go, he goes. I teach, she teaches. Are you understand? I don't know whether you all know about first verb or second verb or not. Uh, did you understand this much? When we convert, this is a positive sentence. When we convert this into negative, we say, I don't go to office. Okay? People speak. I not go to office. You are wrong. Do you get it? With this positive when converted into negative, negative means illa wala sentence. Then we say he doesn't, after doesn't, I will not put goes. It's wrong because here ES has already come. So, he doesn't go to office.
Are you understanding? Common mistakes. If there is negative past. Past negative, then only this formula. Subject plus, agent okay. plus, first word. Suppose like uh, for past negative as you use like uh, huh. he, I didn't tell him. Huh. Okay. Past negative. Uh, mm -hmm. But if I convert it to past positive then it will be I told him. I told him. Positive I told him. Negative I didn't tell him. Questioning. Did I tell him? What did I tell him? Okay. Okay. This much is clear? Questioning again we make mistake. In questions, what do or where, suppose really, where do you work? What do you do? Now, we speak wrong English I'm writing. Where you work? Do you speak like this? Where you work? Where you live? Where you stay? Illimasa? You speak like this, no? But that's wrong. For example, you ask me, ma'am, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you eat? Wrong. What do you eat? So the formula of this goes, do you want formula? So I'm just writing it. WH plus do or don't. Negative can also come. Plus subject plus first word. This is the formula. Everything is based on formulas. Grammar is beautiful. It's just like your maths. You should understand the formulas. Same way here. If I want to convert this into question, I use WH. WH means what, when, where, how, why. WH. Plus does or doesn't. Plus subject. Plus first word. For example, somebody, you already told someone, why doesn't? Why doesn't he? Comes will not come. Come. On time. Normally we say, why not comes on time? Where he works? Where does he work? How he works? How does he work? Have you got my point? <laughs> I know better than you that how much you are busy today because it's too fast. Just copy it down. Was it past Only past. Only past. And that also Kesa past. Only one time in past. Okay. Only one time. Why didn't you come yesterday? Why don't you come? Then every day. Habitual. Why didn't he reach on time? I am talking about one day in past. Why doesn't he reach on time? Habitual. This is very important children. But I am very very sorry due to time constraint. I am just throwing the darts. Darts at you, I know. It is not going to hit you properly. But I am just trying. Have you got it? I was with group Falk with Wipro for 11 months. Only for this. Is it clear? <coughs> Shall I rub the board?
Radhwan made a mistake which I don't want to confuse you right now because it takes more time. Do you all, if I'm do, I use some habitual work, but not now, in past, not now. What I told you, it was now. This is not now. Okay? Subject plus used plus two plus one B. If you say I used to work at IBM, that means now you are not working with IBM. Abhi nahi. I used to come by bike. That means not now. It was habitual in past. But not now. Are you getting to my point? These are some of the grammatical, I just, you can say it is not even water drop which I have given you. Just showed you that there is lots to be learnt in grammar. Lots and lots. Okay? Is it clear? Anything which you want to ask me in grammar, I can tell you. Anything. Grammar is very confusing. We speak Guesswork. Okay. So instead of guesswork, if your formulas, which is called formulae, is right, you would never make a mistake. For example, if we say forceful advice, forceful advice, must, plus first word. You must do your work. Forceful. Ordinary advice, should do plus first work. You should do your work. Present force, subject plus have plus two plus first work. You have to do it. And in India, very important is usage of has and have. Again, have comes with I, you, we, they, plural. Whereas, has comes with he, she, it, name, singular. There is a difference. Some of my children who ask me, who come to me, Ma'am, what is the difference between as and has? As meaning is like. Has means possession. Many of them ask me, ma'am, what is the difference between as and has? And can you please give some example uh, regarding have been or had been? There are two beans. One bean meaning is went and came and returned. Another being is helping one. This being is used in passive voice. If I say, I have been <coughs> to the US, <coughs> the meaning is one minute. I went to US, I returned from US, and I remember about US very nicely now also. Work is over in past, but it has connection with present. I've been there. Means I remember it now also. But if you use this being as a helping verb, for example, some issue came. Issue has been, I use third verb after it. 
sorted out or resolved, whatever you say. Here the formula comes subject plus has or have plus being plus third verb. Very difficult to understand children. I don't want to confuse you. See the formula. Hmm? That is B. Being is used in passive voice continuous. It's being done. It's being resolved. Okay. There is B, B E B. There is being, B W E N B. There is being, B E I N G. Being word is used in passive continuous. For example, uh, when this in Bangalore, uh, I know, CMH Road, they were constructing metros and they cut all the trees. It was so green here. All the trees were being chopped. Now also when metro construction is going on, the trees are being chopped, being chopped by the um, metro people, BMRCL. Is it clear? And in modern English, just for your knowledge I am telling you, by word is avoided in passive voice. It's done. It's believed. It is perceived. It is seen. It is resolved. It is found. By word is omitted when I am the speaker. Had been is also there. For example, if I have forgotten where I went and I know I went but I don't remember I had been there. For example, in my childhood, my tonsure, tonsure meaning you know, mundu, this gundu, mote, mundan. Understand? So, I had been there. There means my mundan was done uh, in Badrinath. But I don't remember. I had been there. If I remember, I have been there. Any other, Any other in passive voice? No, it's the same thing. Had been. Same. No other example. Jake aya. Lekin ami yaad nahi hai. Had been plus present will come. Present will never come. I had been working for more than so. That is past perfect continuous ah, child. Past perfect. Which is no more in usage. It has been converted with past continuous. I was working there. It has been converted. Now it's not in use. Not in use. The one thing like we all sometimes we would have had. So. Ek minute. Subject plus has or have plus third word. Okay. Meaning of this is work is over. But there is connection with present. Dhyan se. Solpa illi nodi. Full attention. Subject plus has or have plus third verb. Work is over in the past. But it has some connection with present. Alright? Now sometime for drinking tea, we say take or sometimes we say have tea. I have tea. Right? Now I am using have here. I, just now we went up. Have. What is the have third verb? Had. Has, have first verb. Had second verb. And had third verb. I have had tea. Pia hai, abhi pia hai. Do you understand? Abhi taste hai. Hey ma'am, sorry? Sorry? Somebody asked me something? No. Ah. You were talking to her. Ah, uh, hey, uh, you tell me ma'am, come in to have a cup of coffee more. Uh, no child, thanks. I have had tea. Abhi bhi taste hai tea ka. So I have had tea. The taste of tea. Still there. Drinking is over. 
but the taste is still there. This is the one and only place where have and had come together. This is, this is like past and present continuous. Uh -huh. It is called present perfect. Present perfect. This is present perfect. Okay. Present perfect formula is only this. Present perfect formula is this. Work is over. But there is connection with present. Work is over. Sapra Aita Swami. Suppose if I... Khaya hai? Khali. Wait, Khali. I had... I don't mind one more idli. But if I say I have had lunch, that means it is full boss I don't want to have. Is it clear? 